well, uh, software producers like those producing, for instance, Facebook, are giving a lot of opportunities for users to fill in boxes and reveal things about themselves as much as they want. So they give a lot of opportunities to give a lot of private information in Facebook. They don't have the intention to specifically misuse that or, or, or not. That's not what the software companies making, for instance, the Facebooks do. Misuse of uh, private information is uh, people who with um, a marketing eye are looking at your private information in those social networking sites. And even uh, job uh, people uh, distributing jobs uh, with uh, applications are also very much interested in what private information is in these applications, filled in by yourself. So actually it's just opportunities given and uh, well then that's the question that users have to think themselves what they should reveal about themselves. They want to impress others, uh, this is impression management. How far do they go? That's the most important direct goal, impression management. But they tend to forget, many users, many young users, that the information they give, give is distributed very wide across the whole world and it stays there. It's not there for just a few months, but it can last perhaps for 25 years. So within 25 years, when you're a CEO or a director of something, someone will show up that you were a pub tiger in those days and you were a womanizer or whatever and you never get a lose of it. So is this a problem for privacy? Actually it, it is and I think that users should be a bit more critical about these things because mainly uh, young users are rather naive in producing this information and I can understand that they are this way because this new digital generation is much more open in revealing things about themselves. They want to exchange things, eh? building identities. They, want, they honestly want to know who they are, being a bit better, being a bit impressive, more than they really are. But the intentions are good and open. And that's the difference with the older generation. The older generation is much more suspicious. They think about, is this misused? I won't reveal anything about myself. For instance, me, I'm one of the network theorists in the world, I don't have any subscription to a social networking site because I know any information I will reveal will be misused by the press or any other. So I can't, simply can't do it. It will be misused in my view. And I don't, don't only make, want to make advertisement about myself, things that actually don't really are true. But this, this is not a marketing piece for me. I could deal with it as a mark in a form mark marketing point of view and make all kinds of advertisements about me and my books. That's not the way I intend to work. That is my own position. But okay, my prime uh, statement is you should be more careful in, in choosing the personal information you reveal. Think what is happening with it, what, how it can be used by others and that it will be there for about 20 to 30 years, perhaps it will never be removed.